Wednesday night after the uh, the Radford game, uh, told the team, well, we've played that way now on two occasions, Wednesday night at Radford and uh, at George Washington earlier in the year. And so much of the game of basketball is mental, how you prepare. We didn't play a, a bad first half at Radford. We missed some easy shots. Uh, but in the second half, the easy shots seemed to discourage us. And uh, we missed them. And it was like the floodgates opened up and nothing we did then worked. Um, Thursday was a day off. The NCAA rules you have to take one day off a week. Thursday was our day off. So we only had one day to prepare for Old Dominion. And our message to the players was, was really very, very simple. Um, we have to be able to compete on the backboards. We got out rebounded uh, 40, 48 to 29 at Radford, and that's that's not even competing. I mean, if you lose by two or three or five, okay, you're in the ball game. But when you get out rebounded by 19 rebounds, you're in trouble. And our players, as young as we are. Uh, listened very carefully. I had their attention. I didn't rant and rave or anything, but but uh, we made it very, very clear to compete with Old Dominion at a very high level. The same thing was going to be true. We we're going to have to defend and rebound. If we don't, they'll just shoot and miss and rebound and shoot until they put it in. And I thought our guys did it. Now, one of the things that I've seen that, that we, we did much better today is we've played some good first halves and then have come out and been not very sharp in the second half. And at Radford, we were down like five and came out and just were terrible in the second half. So at halftime, I told our guys not to be too happy. Uh, we were up three, but you know, nothing is won at halftime. You, you have to play 40 minutes. We have to play every minute of the second half. And so uh, when we came out of the locker room, uh, we, we did a pretty good job of getting ourselves off to a good start and eventually, as the game wore on, we, we not only were able to compete on the backboards, but we started controlling the backboard at, at our defensive end. And uh, that led to fast breaks and layups and, and opportunities that uh, we haven't been getting. So uh, hopefully, and the message will be to the guys tomorrow, if we rebound, we become a much better offensive team as well. And Jim, they had not been giving up a lot of points or you know, uh, letting teams shoot very well. If, if so I'm not mistaken, I don't think anybody has scored 70 on no. I think tonight was the yeah. first day. So does does transition become then more important against a team like that that, that makes you work so hard? No, transition is about 70% of the game. Uh, simply put, the more layups you can get, the better off you are. The high scoring teams that you see around the country, a Duke, a Carolina, Though Kansas, what they do is they convert their defense into baskets, rebound, outlet, run, force a turnover, run. And they get a lot of easy baskets off their defense. And we haven't been good enough defensively or rebounding wise to do either. So tonight we, we did a, a much better job in both categories and you see the results against a terrific defensive team like Old Dominion, we get 71. I think we've only done that one or, one or two other times. We had 89 against VMI, and I'm not sure if we broke 70 in any of the other games. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Oh, in Puerto Rico, yeah. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> How about the defensive effort for you guys in the front court? You guys seemed to get a lot. There was a lot of help defense, a lot of double teaming. Do you know, for the first time this year on a post feed over the top, now they did score on several of those. For the first time, we ended up getting two guys to the to the post receiver, trapping him and making it difficult for him to score. We even got a turnover out of it. It's the first one of the year. And it's something we've been working on since October. So I'm I gotta say I'm pleased because one is better than none and it's something to build on. Is that just from the development of these of the young guys? Is that still are they still? You know, I, 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 I attribute it to the mental side of the game. You know, our players know that Old Dominion's pick preseason number one. They know they're very, very big. They know they're very talented. They know they beat Georgetown. That's about as all the motivation they need because we've played against Georgetown in a, a scrimmage game and we've we've competed against big teams like a, a Radford who 
destroyed us when we didn't do it well. You mentioned uh, the importance of the rebounding, but there was a noticeable difference from the first half to the second half, you know, uh, on George Mason's rebounding. Did, did you say something again at half? Uh, uh, just to, to sustain the effort that you work really, really hard. We worked hard in the first half to be competing. A lot of times young teams relax. They, they let up. They can, hey, we're doing a great job. No, you got to stay focused. The four words that we've been using to our players, the, called the four C's, and these are all very, very important to success. Starts with composure, you got to be poised. Concentration, you got to be focused. Confidence, you got to believe in yourself, your teammates, and the system. And lastly, you got to be totally committed to all those areas. And if, if you do that, then you have a chance to succeed. Doesn't mean you'll the outcome will be what you want, but you've given yourself a chance. If you lose your composure, if you if you uh, don't concentrate, make a lot of mistakes, if you don't have confidence, and what happens sometimes to teams is you miss a few shots, they put their head down, they lose their confidence even within the game, and then they're not committed to anything. They just start going on their own. I agree. Thanks. Thanks, coach.